So you start in the HCG diet and you ask yourself, the first thing they tell me I need to do is I need to gain six to 10 pounds before I can actually lose weight on this diet. Does it make sense? It sounds pretty oxymoronic. <laughs> explain to you why it's absolutely crucial that if you're a woman that you gain a minimum of six pounds the more the better and if you're a man 10 to 12 pounds before you start phase two which is the fat loss phase of the advanced AC diet protocol failure to do so can make a difference between feeling hungry tired fatigued and losing very little fat my name is Colin F Watson I'm the number one AC diet coach in the world and I'm author and creator of ACG body for life the advanced AC diet protocol so this is what happens in the body and why you need to gain weight before you lose weight on the AC diet the ACG hormone once you introduce it to your body either through real injections or real ACG drops basically tells the body to mobilize fat it's actually going into your abnormal fat stores and mobilizing that fat what I call the fat you love to hate the ugly fat the fat you look in the mirror and you don't want, the belly fat, the back fat, the thigh fat, the fat around the face and cheeks, the fat in the back of your arms and underarms, that stuff that's basically sitting there stored waiting for you to get stuck on a desert island someplace until you're actually starving to death and it'll actually give you that source of fat to survive. But see, you're not on a desert island and you don't need to survive. What you do need to do is find a way and a mechanism and a system to release that stored fat and actually feed you those calories and nutrients so you can lose weight. So in order for the AC diet hormone to know where you store fat, you have to make your body do what it already does pretty successfully, store fat, massive fat, rapidly over a 48 hour period. So in that first two days of what we call loading or the gorge phase, you must eat everything under the sun. You must eat every hour on the hour. As we continue, as I roll here. So you need to ch show your body how to store fat. So by, it's not just eating a big meal for lunch and a big meal for breakfast and dinner. It's literally forcing the body to store fat all day long. And what that looks like is literally having snack foods and, and all the stuff, all the foods you think you'll ever miss, um, never having to eat again. I always say make it your death row meal. What would your death row meals look like? And to make sure you multiply those meals repeatedly. You want to feel miserable. It has, there's a psychological component to loading and a physical component to loading. As you force the body to store fat, the AC diet hormone follows where you store fat all over your body. Realize you store fat everywhere. That's why you have back fat and thigh fat and face fat and arm fat and belly fat because you store fat everywhere. Now, we all have our problem areas where we store fat in bigger components, mostly men in the belly and women in the thighs and the hips and the stomach and in the breast, but ultimately we store fat everywhere. So when you effectively get your body to store fat while the ACG hormone is in your system, when we finally cut your calories and draw and want to draw and tap into those fat stores, you'll be able to do it more successfully because your body will know exactly where you store your fat. So this is why gaining the weight is crucially important as important as I park here crucially important when you're starting phase uh, one of the AG diet protocol. Now once you tap, once you're actually going into the low calorie phase and you tap into those, uh, you're able to tap into those fat stores, you're getting anywhere from 1500 to three to 4,000 calories a day of your own stored fat as nutrients. You're getting all the, all the macronutrients, uh, um, micronutrients that you're getting from your stored fat, all the carbs, the protein and fats that are stored in your own stored fat. You're getting those um, in your body to feed your body and, and give you all the energy that you need in order to exercise um, and to function throughout the daily basis. Some people think that you can't sustain a 500 calorie diet um, 
without feeling fatigued. You're absolutely right. If you did not have the HD diet hormone in your system and you weren't getting these nutrients from your storage fat, within a matter of three or four days, you'd feel pretty miserable and you wouldn't be able to continue. This is, there's, there, you know, there's no mistake why people can go 30, 40, 60, 90. I've taken people 120 days losing over 100 pounds on our advanced HD diet protocol because of the potency and the effectiveness of the HD diet hormone in your body releasing fat stores. So once again, it's hugely important that you take the loading phase seriously and you do it deliberately. I always tell people to write down everything you plan on eating over the next two days. And the reason why you wanna write it down, because this is what happens, once you introduce that hormone into your system, in a matter of an hour, hours, you don't, you're not craving anything, you really don't, you're really not that hungry, because you're already starting, to, already starting to mobilize fat. So if you don't have a deliberate list of things that you plan on eating throughout those next few days, what's gonna happen is you're gonna stop thinking about where all the things, all those fantasy foods you thought you would have memorized in your head, they suddenly start to, you start to suddenly start to lose, you start to lose them, they leave the brain, and you know, you're really not craving anything, and so you just start picking at food. A lot of things that hinder you from gaining weight is most women especially are protein deficient. Most humans are protein deficient because we don't take in enough protein anyway. But for those who find themselves gaining weight or find themselves obese, one of the main things that, uh, one of the main components of their nutrition plan that's missing is protein. So all of a sudden when you tell somebody to gorge and load, they start thinking fast food and burgers and fries and steak and lobster and they go to all these restaurants, they have all, all started eating all this protein and they're wondering why they're losing weight during loading even though they're eating all this stuff. is because the body has been missing protein for such a long time that once you give it all this, these large amounts of protein, it starts to actually go this is what I've been waiting for and it actually starts to lose weight so it's important that you want to minimize protein especially you women out there when you're loading you want to minimize protein maximize starches fats processed foods sugar high sodium stuff you want to bloat the body up you want to make it miserable I was starting to say in the, in, earlier in the video before I got cut off that there's a psychological component to loading as well some of us have these these cravings for foods that we just love that seem to call and haunt you know call out to us and haunt us you know while we're dieting and we think we're never gonna be able to live without them so i always say that whatever your favorite food is you like cheesecake eat so much cheesecake that you, that you want to get sick of cheesecake i remember i had a cousin of mine one of my closest cousins we shared the same birthday um, we're two years apart and as we were young living in jamaica we used to eat um toffee peanuts um and uh we would get these toffee peanuts and we'd eat them by the bags but he would just eat them and eat them and eat them and one day he got deathly ill eating these toffee peanuts and uh to this day now you know i'm gonna be 58 years old it means he's 60 this uh next month until this day, he will not touch a toffee peanut because he got so sick. So this kind of the similar premise that you will, um, that you can learn to get sick of the things you think you can't live without. And what happens is, is once you eat as, not, as much of the stuff that you're supposed to eat or that you love to hate um, during the loading phase, when it comes to the diet phase, now as you're losing, as you're losing body fat, you're shrinking, you're starting to feel better, look better. Those thoughts will pop into your head and you go, oh, I remember the donuts. And you'll kind of go, oh, no, I remember how I felt eating those donuts. And that last day of loading, I was so freaking bloated and so miserable and so swollen. No thank you. So that's the psychological component to loading. The physical component is already touched upon is that you need to force your body to store fat all over your body with that HD hormone so we can, we can actually leave a signal in your fat store so when you finally cut your calories, it knows immediately where to go. It knows to bypass lean muscle, bypass structural fat, and only go to abnormal fat stores to tap into your, and tap into your, into your resources so you can lose a half a pound to a pound and a half a day of body fat and get the body to life. So I hope in this video you understand why the loading phase is so important, why it's it sounds oxymoronic, but if you don't do it correctly, if you fail to gain at least six pounds if you're a woman on this protocol, and at least 10 to 12 pounds if you're a man on this protocol, you're gonna make it, you're gonna struggle in phase two, you're gonna have lack loss, lackluster fat loss numbers, you're gonna have cravings, you're gonna have headaches, you may feel fatigued. It's going to be that wall you hit so early in the protocol that you most likely will quit and miss out on an opportunity to getting the body of your life. 
I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share my content. Please subscribe. I need some subscribers, guys. I really would like to get to 10,000 subscribers um, before the end of the year. That's my first milestone. Um, hit the bell icon so you can be alerted next time I bring a new, a new video up. My goal is to bring you as much content as possible to help you achieve fantastic health, uh, fitness level that you've never seen before. And always, like I said, my mantra, get the body of your life. Namaste. Lighten me, meets and season, greets the amazing light in you. Peace.